Hello, I'm Stefan. Let's talk about Delineator. If you have the Mackie DL series digital mixer, you are probably well aware about the Master Fader app, and you're probably using it uh, to control your mixer. In fact, when you got this mixer, you knew that it being a digital mixer without a physical user interface, that this was going to be the main means of, of controlling it. So you can run it on a tablet or a PC or even your phone and using a touch screen to, to adjust faders and push buttons and do all the, the, the settings of the mixer um, offline and of course during a live performance. Now, one of the things that you might do as a, as a sound guy or a musician might be to control the, uh, uh, the parameters or settings of a, of a connected vocal mic or some other instruments like a guitar. You might uh, want to adjust uh, its levels uh, during performance, or you might want to turn on and off uh, a vocal effect. And that's all great, especially if you're, if you're a sound guy at the mixing position. However, in some scenarios, if you're uh, an individual uh, gigging musician, it might not be possible to do this during performance. It would have been great if, for example, you could use a MIDI controller, like here, uh, the Helix uh, Line 6 HX Stomp, which is a, something you might already have uh, as a guitarist or, or bassist. Uh, and it has great MIDI control capabilities because you can, you can program these foot switches to, to send out whatever MIDI messages you might want. And if it was possible, you could control the, the mixer with that. Or if you're, again, you're the sound guy and want to do more more complex mixing and you might want to have something like the bearing air X touch which gives you actual physical faders and knobs and buttons uh, to control the mixer however the problem remains uh, and it is that the the DL series mixer they don't have a MIDI interface so there's no way to make this connection now you might have uh, looked at other and used other solutions including having a separate PC with an application like Mixing Station. And it's a great application because it gives you uh, the, the ability to connect a USB connected MIDI interface and thereby giving you that missing MIDI connection for your controllers. However, it might not be desirable to have this extra gear or might not even be possible due to complexity or, or uh, cost. So is there another solution? Yeah. I said we were going to talk about Delineator. Delineator is a very small package uh, box that basically provides that missing mid interface to the DL series mixers. And it does so in a very compact way and without the need for any additional software, computers, tablets, um, or, or phones. In fact, what you're looking at here is you don't even need the Master Fader app anymore to do this control. And in this video, I'll show you how you can build your own uh, delineator, just like mine here. Let's assemble the components that make up the hardware for delineator. First of all, you're going to need the Arduino Uno uh, R4 Wi-Fi board. And on top of that, literally speaking, you're going to have the Olimex uh, MIDI shield. So, first thing you want to do is uh, take the Arduino out of the box and uh, connect it uh, to a USB connector. And straight out of the box, when you power it up, it runs this simple program or sketch, which just shows a nifty little animation and then goes to, to blinking this yellow LED. And that's a good check to, to know that the, the Arduino is uh, operational. Now, I'll disconnect that and let's look at the uh, MIDI shield. Uh, the MIDI shield is going to be mounted on top of the Arduino, looks like this. And quite simply, you just line up the pins and gently connect them like so. And that's really all there is to it, to setting up the, the hardware for Delineator. It's optional, but I do use this KKSB case for the uh, for the Arduino 
and I'll show you now how to assemble it. So the, the case is made out of metal and it has this acrylic plastic covering which comes off and uh, the aluminium casing here on the side has break off tabs and here you can see I, I broke off this tab here to make an opening for the MIDI connectors. And to get started, we first of all need to remove this uh, uh, other backing board from the delineator. And we need to disassemble the, the MIDI shield in order to get access to the screws for mounting. And as you can see here on the front, uh, there are openings that match the barrel and USB-C connector. So we'll just carefully wiggle the, the Arduino in place, like so. And then there are eight screws that come with the kit, and four of them are round-headed, and those are supposed to screw the, down the, uh, the Arduino to the, to the case and the flathead ones go into the countersunk holes here on the top cover. Uh, mounting these screws is a bit fiddly, so I think I'll just pause the, the camera now. The board is screwed down and let's reassemble the MIDI shield. There you go. Now to get access to the reset button on the Arduino, there's actually a, an aligned hole here in the top cover. And I just got some plastic rod here, which um, I cut to length and then I put some double-sided tape at the bottom of it. And I'll just place that right on top of the, on the switch. And then another small modification that I did is uh, to, um, to help the, the MIDI shield stay in place uh, once you start connecting and disconnecting the, the MIDI connectors. I put some felt material here. It's just one of those uh, felt pads which you can put under the, the feet or of a chair. And I put it there just to align with the top of the, the MIDI connectors to, to hold them down. That's the cover and then for the, the screws. And there you have it, the delineator encased in the KKSB Arduino 4 case. Over on the computer, we're now going to install the delineator firmware onto the device. And you can see over here that I have the device connected via USB to the computer. You head over to Kofi, where I host my stuff for this, and search for delineator or just enter this URL. and. Uh, here you can not only download the software needed but also uh, follow along the project and uh, read about the progress. But for now we'll head over to the shop where you can find the firmware and the manager. The manager is the software that which you will use to upload the firmware itself. Once those are downloaded we can begin by installing the manager. after which we will run it. And here it is. And we'll begin by selecting the USB port to which the device is connected. And uh, the next step is to pick the firmware file. And the easiest way to do it, I find, is to uh, get the, the path directly for the bin file, which is the firmware, and paste that into the manager. And then we'll go ahead and upload the firmware. Confirm. Let's see, it's processing. And soon enough, upload successful. And we can immediately see a new behavior from the device. You can see that the LEDs on the MIDI shield are blinking red-green every other second. And that's a very good sign. It means that Delineator firmware is now running and is trying to connect. 
but uh, we're not ready yet because we still need to configure it. So we'll begin by uh, selecting mixer model and setting the Wi-Fi password. And setting the mixer IP address. And last but not least, the Wi-Fi name. And when all of those four are set, we can save the configuration. There we go. Those are the steps and the device is now ready to do its work. So that's the next step. Here we are set up, ready for a demo of Delineator. Delineator is right now connected with a MIDI cable to the HX Stomp, which will act as the controller. And you can see that Delineator is uh, flashing green, which means that it's connected to the mixer. And as you can see on Master Fader, which again is just there to show you what is happening in the mixer, Master Fader is not part of the working solution here. It only provides a view into the mixer. So you can see when I uh, push the button here, the foot switch, which I have uh, programmed with a CC message to boost uh, the lead channel, the, the vocals channel. See when I push it, that the fader moves up uh, and back down. And the other foot switch I programmed to do a mute of channel seven and eight, which is the stereo pair. And you can see that happening. Isn't that cool? So I hope that gives you a good idea of what you can do with Delineator. And uh, this is just an example. And once you have full MIDI control, it's only your imagination and your requirements that really set the limit for what you can do.